Hello friends, welcome to another edition of Bible Chat in Korean with Emma. I welcome all my returning subscribers and thank you so much for trusting in me and just believing in this channel. I thank you for liking and sharing with your friends and family. This really helps the channel grow. And also I welcome all our new subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing. In today's edition, as you've seen by the title, it's for our skin. And what motivated me to do this particular video is the struggle that I had with my face and my hair and my, my back and chest. I had terrible acne and just felt that my, in fact, my skin was so itchy that it got to a point where I would scratch uncontrollably even in the middle of the night, I would wake up and I'm like, oh, I'm scratching so bad. And that led to me getting dark spots on my face. But this all happened towards the end of 2020. So it was very difficult. In fact, it wasn't the end, the middle of 2020, like July. It was very difficult for me to get a doctor. And initially, I'm not someone who wants to go to the doctor. I would avoid, I would try remedy. So this video, if you're someone who doesn't go to the doctor, I would encourage you to stop doing that and to not Googling stuff. Google is useful, but at times it just makes your situation worse because you won't be having an understanding. And also Google will not be having an understanding of where you're coming from. And so I found that um, having not gone to the doctor in that time was just so was making it worse i did manage to find an online doctor and they later advised me they sent me some antibiotic and it didn't work and they said to me that you know what in as much as we may try and help you you're better going to an actual in-house doctor like to actually go but during that time nothing was really happening it had to be emergencies if you remember it might it was an emergency to me but i was living i was surviving <laughs> So I'll just want to walk you through the journey of how I ended up getting this skin. So my notes and the products right in front of me. So if you just see me wandering away, my eyes, it's because I'm trying to read. I don't want to misguide you or give you the wrong information. In as much as I would advise you to go to your doctor if you're going through any skin um, issues. But I was a stubborn individual. So if you're like me, probably this would help you. <laughs> and so firstly, um, what I did do was try home remedies. I did aloe vera, the plant, and it would soothe my skin to the point where it wasn't so itchy. But then I don't know if it like if I can say it when it would wear off, it would become itchy again. So it's not practical. I, you can constantly be applying. And then after maybe three hours, you're applying again. So it, it helped, but not totally. And then I would try stuff like turmeric. You know how you just Google up stuff or search for stuff and it will help you, give you guides on what to use. And turmeric does brighten your skin, but it wasn't really dealing with the spots that I had accumulated on my face. And so I just tried so many products. I was online purchasing, because we're at home, just purchasing products. They didn't work. So I then went to the doctor when things started to open up a little bit. And my primary care physician immediately gave me a shot of steroids because I walked in and I was just, and then it stopped like immediately. And it helped for some days, actually. But then they advised me to get an allergy test because I was telling her the pattern of how I'll just randomly be sitting in the living room watching TV. And then I'm like, in fact, you just start like this. And then, <laughs> and then I had to um, be given an allergy test. So we scheduled it. I went for the allergy test. And I reacted to over, I think it was about 47 allergies, different things. So it was basically like plants and shrubs, trees, grass. And this is like all of my surroundings. 
And so it wasn't practical, like, how am I surviving if everything around me is making me react? And so they did give me some injections that I had to administer every other day. I'm telling you, that wasn't easy. I'm afraid of needles. And to actually learn how to do it and have to now do it at home, I tried to convince my husband to, to do it for me. And he was like, nope, I'm not <gasps> in it. And so I did so for a, a couple of weeks, maybe a month or so. And I got to a point where I was like, this isn't what I want. I can't because I was so nervous all the time. And then... It did help the itchiness. That itchiness went away, but I still had this face that looked like sandpaper. It was bad. The spots were there and they were very prominent, but I wasn't like getting new spots. So maybe it did help. But then I later spoke to a friend of mine who directed me to a dermatologist. Now my primary care physician did direct me to one. And when I tried to schedule the appointment, it was for about four months into the year, like four months later. I was like, four months? I'm not waiting for four months. I'm not, because you know, when you do not have skin that is clear, you're not, you don't feel confident. Um, it just makes you feel like, you know, you're not taking care of yourself. That's the image that you're giving. Um, even though people know about acne and bad skin, but I didn't like staying in that state. So I randomly was talking to a friend of mine and I was telling her about my skin and I was just complaining, oh, my skin. And she said to me, oh, why don't you go to my dermatologist? You can go there and they will set up an appointment at least within a week. And I was like, a week is good. But guys, the dermatologist was like an hour and a half away. But I was like, you know what? I've already gone through so many struggles an hour and a half is nothing so i drove all the way set up the appointment it was in the same week i was so happy and i went and when i got there it was a uh, an old man i say old because i was just like oh why is this man gonna tell me i know he he's licensed but i was like oh and to my surprise he looked at my face and was like this is hormonal acne and he walked me through, he educated me like I was there for an hour. So I felt like, yes, it was worth it. And he began to educate me on the, in, the things I consume, how they affect your skin. And I did mention to him, oh, I was crying, I was crying, complaining, oh, my skin, this, oh, I'm injecting myself, blah, blah, blah. And then he did mention that, you know what? you could stop injecting yourself whilst we try this new treatment and i was up for it and he did give me um, a routine to follow and i did follow it for about a year and some months and i still do follow but there are certain things i removed just because i wanted to see how my skin will begin to respond when i am not using those products any longer hey guys i am back and moved into my bathroom because there was a lot of noise where i was earlier we're continuing with the and now getting into the products that i have been using to help me achieve these results on my face firstly i did take vitamins and every evening these have really helped my skin as um, they've been working internally and I did take a prescribed medication, which I have stopped only because I had taken it for about a year and I wanted to see if I, I needed it anymore. And so far, my skin has been very good. And the prescribed medication was spironolactin. And this helped reduce aging as well as it helped with the inflammation. It helped with the itchiness. So unfortunately it is a prescribed medication so if you feel that maybe this is a topic for you you'd have to really go and see your doctor and ask them and see if they can write a prescription for you but the rest of the stuff is found in your stores and i had vitamin c the vitamin c helps brighten your face to have that extra glow people sometimes won't tell you but it's vitamins people take vitamins 
i also take fish oil and fish oil helps your skin in the regulation of skin oil production and then it also helps minimize aging that's a plus i also take zinc and zinc just helps reduce inflammation and vitamin d which rejuvenates your skin so those are the things that i take internally now getting to the products that i i use every day you have to be patient and, and is you can liken it to the things you are praying for in your life you may be praying for god to restore a relationship you may be praying for a job you may be praying for god to um, help your child be admitted in a particular school that you are looking forward to you may be praying for random things even within your church or whatever it is it's a process and you have to continue to pray about it it's not just i'm going to pray today and then forget about it you have to pray without ceasing about these things and be aggressive and be determined and be intentional so that's how you take care of your skin as well you have to be intentional you have to do it daily you have to be able to be patient as the instant results for some people i've heard people say because i was the person who would try they said use this product and wake up with a clear skin i was definitely trying it but i can tell you the truth that they i mean i don't know i don't want to say they're lying but you have to trust a process there's nothing that happens overnight very few things that are sustainable happen overnight even our facial desires of glowing and um milk like childlike skin it's a process so i would encourage you to wash your face in the morning and in the evening someone's like duh no you'll be surprised so people just do this in the morning they're like uh-huh uh-huh and they're out no you need to wash your face and it may mean you need to wake up early because this just takes <laughs> takes a second Wah! you're done so you need to wake up early and actually begin the, the routine so i use products in the morning and some products i use them just at night but i would encourage you to exfoliate your skin at least once a week learn to exfoliate if you don't buy an exfoliating scrub for your face and your body and i also have um, exfoliating sponges that you may try out these i just found them from the local grocery store and um they they like really feel like an, a bit rough but once in a while or if i feel like oh, my face is just feeling a bit off i will definitely use this to clean my face with a foaming cleanser so for the exfoliator that i use i use this from clinique the brands that i chose I just you know how you just choose a particular brand but they've been perfect for me and i've used them for a year and a half and they have worked the magic like there's no tomorrow and i love them and i think i'll continue to use these products invest in an exfoliating cream and do that once a week and this will help with blood circulation it will help even your skin tone it will also unlock pores as well as prevent acne there's so many oils on your skin that you need to get rid of that's why you need to wash your face twice a day another thing that i use so this that i showed you is what i use once a week step that i'm showing you is even when i do this once a week i still go on to this particular step this step i do in the morning and at night i have my foaming cleanser here from la roche posay and i use this a lot of the times with this that i mentioned earlier and now in this cleanser it has niacinamide and it also has ceramide so niacinamide help moisturize your skin and it helps with redness hyperpigmentation and it's also an anti-inflammatory 
ingredient. Once I use this, I will, you know, wash for two minutes. Oh, yes. If I'm in a hurry, like especially in the morning, I'll try and do it for a minute. I'll try. But at night is when I really, really, because that's when I have really, my day is done and I'm taking my shower. I'll do it for two minutes so that all the ingredients get into your skin and begin to work. So you can't just go, papa. <laughs> I hope that you've done nothing. Then after I use that, I begin to use a toner. In the morning, I have a particular toner that I use there versus at night for no particular reason, just because, I don't know, I just like these two products. And I don't know if you can tone twice. So I just do this one in the morning, which is from Good Molecules. And it has niacinamides, which I've mentioned before, brightens your skin tone. And use it um, on a cotton pad. And afterwards, I just begin to do this. Um, I do this for about 30 seconds. So all the product enters into my skin before I introduce a new product. At night, I use this one, which has, sorry, it has glycolic acid. It's a toner as well and uh it helps with hyperpigmentation because i really had hyperpigmentation it was so bad and so it has really dealt with the dark spots and as a disclaimer none of these products are paid for this is not a paid promotion i am just sharing with you i really am saying to you these products work for me as you can see from the pictures but it did take a while and so that one i use at night and the um, and good molecules and the ordinary are very affordable brands. So you can trust them and work with what they have. You I then also use a discoloration from the good molecule. This is a serum. I don't, you know, I just put it on my the palm of my hand and I begin to work it through. And um, once I do that, I found that I also do the 30 seconds if you find that you are feeling this burning sensation, you need to reduce a particular product that you're using. So how will you know which one it is? For me, I've noticed if I begin to feel some burning sensation, I've done too much of exfoliating, so I need to reduce the amount of manpower I'm using on my face. But another way is perhaps you need to stop using it every day and do every other day. So like if I have used this particular toner and then I use this, I think that um, your pores would have been open. And now when you're using this, that's what will make you feel like you're burning. So just being able not to continue to use something every day, you just give yourself some breaks if you feel like, you know, your skin is burning. Another thing that I use is hyaluric acid this one reduces blemishes and it also um is an antioxidant that combats dark spots so it's another thing that helps in uh reducing the dark spots that you have on your face and one thing i've learned as well is you can use um when you moisturize your face and everything, you can use it on your hands as well. I found that it makes your hands actually feel nice and soft. Instead of washing your hands, you don't need to because if you use it on your face, you can use it on your hands. So that also works for me. And then once in a while, I will use, like every other day, this retinol. And it's like it exfoliates your skin and it increases collagen. But this one, I use it every other day. Yeah, so, so another product that I use that has helped me a lot in this journey is using this um, moisturizer. It's a matte moisturizer from La roche again. And it does have ceramides and niacinamides. And it's a matte. So, you know, before I used to have this struggle when I had oily skin and Whenever I wash my face and would just use an ordinary general toner and moisturize, my skin would be so, so oily afterwards. And probably I wasn't paying attention to what the product was 
what was in the product and so i would walk out the house and look like i have just come from a sauna so it wasn't it didn't have that nice look and it really made me feel uncomfortable but having this moisturizer has really helped combat an oily skin another thing that i use that a lot of people i know especially if you have a darker skin tone you feel like there's no need for you to use sunscreen but i would encourage you to purchase a sunscreen i would say when you're purchasing products especially for the first time go to a store where you're able to communicate with someone inside who knows about the products it will help you a lot than going to a supermarket and just picking random products so having sunscreen really helps uh, protect your skin from radiation and also helps target hyperpigmentation because when you're out in the sun you kind of get a darker skin and if you're not um, applying something to your face we're exposed our faces are always exposed to different types of weather so you want to try and help your face by applying uh, sunscreen every day on your skin and some will say that you know sunscreen makes me look ashy but you know when you're applying it you need to actually kind of make sure it's entering into your skin you're not being too quick in just putting it like a paste and then leaving it anyways um, uh, if you find that you're still looking ashy you need to see what type of sunscreen and i am i using because i know some are for the body like if you're going swimming or you're out and about and you're wearing sleeveless top or clothes that are exposing your skin to the sun so you have to make sure that it's one for the face so that is something that i think you need to consider before you say you're not going to use sunscreen and then i have a bonus for you i do like in the morning after i brush my teeth do my whole routine i use this maybelline lift gloss this Maybelline, ah, buy it on Amazon because it's got a decent price on Amazon. If you, it's, it's not even expensive anyways, but on Amazon, it's going to be much cheaper than the drugstore or the supermarket. So go on and Amazon and buy it. It really moisturizes my lips. It's amazing. I, I, I love it. And it has a wide range of colors that you can choose and so that's the one i use every morning but at night when i'm going to bed after my route the last thing i do is put vaseline on my lips and that really helps keep them moisturized and also if that's if you struggle with chap lips but even if you don't struggle with chap lips it's still good to moisturize your lips um, so i would advise you to just keep on taking care of your skins your skin and your makeup brushes you need to wash them regularly maybe once a month um, but also making sure that your products are not expired and to just follow a routine that works for you ensuring that you are staying on track when it comes to that and i can tell you there's no fast result you have to trust the process and this is from 2020 to 2023 taking care of my skin so you can see that now nah, you don't want to waste money you just want to get up and go to the doctor if you can if you cannot go to the doctor right now trust me what i've told you will work it's been working for me remember how my skin used to look it was terrible so just believe that you know what your skin will get to the place that you are hoping and aspiring it to be i just encourage you to take care of it regularly drinking water and avoiding oily foods avoiding too much candy <laughs> cakes sugar that also helps you maintain not only a healthy skin but it's just good for your body as well so thank you ladies encourage your the men in your life your children your boys or your spouse your brothers to take care of their skin as well because sometimes men don't realize they have hyperpigmentation, but if they begin a routine, they'll be surprised that they'll have nice skin. And um, just encourage you not to, to, to think that, you know what, it's impossible to get there. Makeup is nice, but sometimes you just need to look nice <laughs> with no makeup. <laughs>
<laughs> thank you so much continue to like share and to subscribe i hope this has helped someone and encouraged someone to continue to believe that their skin will get back to looking like a baby or somewhat like a baby thank you my friends have a wonderful week